today we're going to begin by looking at current source matching to start looking at the effects of mismatches in transistors and we will ultimately use this for mismatches in differential pairs. So here we have a current mirror where we're mirroring two currents, ID1 and ID2, uh, off of uh, a reference, a common reference current. Now ID1 and ID2 should have current values that are 1 half mu n C ox times W over L of the indivisible transistors ID2 is similar. Now these two currents, if the geometries of the transistors are equal, uh, should uh, also be equal. Of course, we could have situations where we have geometric errors where W over L1 is not equal to W over L2. Now this could be done intentionally or it could just be done because the process uh, that we're building the transistors in isn't perfectly controlled. We could also have doping errors in the process that cause the threshold voltages not to be equal. And this is exclusively a process uh, uh, variation problem. OK, so we're going to define a few mismatch statistics. So we are going to define uh, averages and uh, errors uh, as uh, averages are uh, one half the sum of these two currents, and errors are the difference of the two currents. And if we rearrange those, we can write uh, each of the currents, geometries, and threshold voltages <coughs> in terms of the average and error. OK, so if we do that, we can come up with uh, finding the currents in terms of the mismatch statistics. So here I have ID1 is equal to ID, the average current, plus the error current divided by 2. And if I write this out, I get the following expression. Now, if I uh, go ahead and grind through the algebra here, we get the following. Remember, VOV is equal to VGS minus VTH. All right, we can cancel those uh, twos out. And we have a delta VTH square term. Now, delta VTH is the error in current. Hopefully, that it's uh, small. So a small number squared is going to be even smaller. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that term. Uh, so we're left with uh, the uh, expression here. And again, if we do a little bit of further manipulation, we would uh, wind up with uh, the following. OK, so we can write this, oops, took one term out. So we can write this uh, as a fractional current mismatch, delta ID divided by ID. And if we did that, we would see the following. OK, we have a minus sign here. But this minus sign doesn't really help us because 
delta VTH can be plus or minus, right? And same with W over L, it can be plus or minus. So the error uh, uh, statistically can be centered uh, basically around the mean. Okay, what we find here is that we have geometry-based errors and doping-based errors. Now, what we uh, can see here is if we want to minimize the error, though, clearly we want to increase the denominators to minimize the error or the effect of the error. And so what this means for geometry-based errors is W over L, we want to be bigger to minimize errors. And the overdrive voltage, VOV, we want to be bigger. Okay, so this is starting to give us an idea of what we want to do with our transistors. Uh, so we want W over L to be bigger. Uh, for VOV, remember VOV is equal to square root of 2 times the drain current divided by mu C ox times W over L. Okay, and this is telling us, of course, that we want W over L to be smaller, but of course that's uh, under a square root, so making uh, the geometry bigger has a bigger effect. And uh, also tells us that we want to operate under larger drain current. Okay, so we'll stop there and we'll look at the uh, source coupled pair uh, from a large signal perspective in the next uh, section of the lesson.